As we usher in the new year, Helen brings each of you. Your dedication to our community is noticed and appreciated. As we step into the new year, let us reflect on the fundamental values that guide us. Around this time, I always think of that famous verse from Revelations chapter 22. Behold, I make all things new. This serves as a reminder that new beginnings are not just a possibility, but a promise. Ethics, the cornerstone of good governance, is crucial for ensuring our community thrives with integrity. Your role as guardians of these ethical principles is paramount. Accountability is the bedrock of transparency and public trust. The Ethics and Accountability Board holds a crucial responsibility in ensuring our public officials remain accountable for their actions. It is imperative that we adhere to best practices, formal procedures, and the commitment to due process. The burden must be taken up with diligence. I especially urge the Board to prioritize due process. As you navigate complex issues, the adherence to fair and just procedures is the key to reaching unbiased conclusions based on relevant, reliable, and material evidence. As we embark on a new year, my heartfelt goodwill goes out to each of you. I have every confidence in this board's ability with professional support to navigate the challenges that lie ahead. Thank you for your service and commitment. I don't know what else I speak for, but state your name for you. Yes, my name is Elizabeth Taylor. Um, since it's an open meeting, I didn't, I wasn't offered an agenda. Is um, that customary? Thank you. you as the chair follow through with any request of that complaint. Mr. King, the union man, standing with the union to make better, stronger decisions versus ferrying for management. The people versus management is often in this room. That is part of the reason why this group came into existence. I had a comment from Ms. Booth, but she's not here. Um, I'm sorry about that. I maybe have to come back again to do that. One of the things I wanted to know, for you to know, because you're at all the council meetings, that the police, which some of us call the popo, <laughs> are being called when a black woman stands up and objects to something that the council says. The protection for that woman, it's frightening. It's very frightening. And I know you see it. I know that you've seen it. So I'm assuming because of that atrocity, you have initiated a complaint in this department. Because this is the Ethics and Review Board. So how will this group respond to this? How will you do it? Be present in this situation. Again, Mr. King, how did you show the community that you have the ethical actions within this group? Should community ask for defunding of this office if we are not receiving complaints and they're not being, they are being initiated. The public is asking for them. Or should we be asking for a full and complete audit? of complaints that have come to this council, whether you have accepted them, the resolve of each of the complaints, in addition to a full audit, I'm concerned about the staff's ability to actually be able to function to work proficiently with equipment, with enough equipment, with the right equipment, with heat, with water, with staff. If you know of an unethical issue that occurred 
What would your action be, Mr. King, about this, as the chair of the Ethical and Review Board? And I hope that you take the time to answer my questions about this. Specifically you, because of your history of being with the union and standing with the people. We get a lot of complaints come in and people want to give us complaints, but they don't want to, they don't want to sign it. Uh, anybody can just make a complaint. I wouldn't put your name on it if you don't have a complaint. Uh, that complaint, I just uh cost them uh cost So if you see a child ran over by a car in the street and it's wrong, do you find that you would be responsible or would you be 
who expected you just turn away and not act on. Your rules may not be community friendly. If I'm a person who's afraid to sign a complaint, right. if I am, I would hope that this group would come and hold me up and help me and move forward on it. Because that's why you came into existence, to be ethical, to review if things were unethical. That's your assignment. Whether you wrote it down or not, the words mean ethical review. So audit yourself, publish your complaints. Have you taken any signed or unsigned? Have you reported any of those out to the community? What are you spending the money on? I understand staff and I appreciate your position. But outside of that, I mean, this person has had to function without staff, without machine, without the capabilities to even accept my complaint. Have you, have you filed a complaint? The city council filed complaint. Your rules say, but the, your title says ethical. And you have seen unethical things occur. You have seen, you, Mr. King, have seen the police come to city council. And because I raised my voice, at someone who's raised their voice at me, and they are getting me arrested, when they initiate, that's unethical. That is so unethical. And if you don't think it is, you could at least say, well, let me look into it. Let me review it. Let our attorney look at it. Let our staff look at it. We as a board, as a collective, what's happening here? Because before you went on camera tonight, there were complaints from many of you about what's happening at council. Therefore, I know you know what's going on at council. And you have some concern. So you yourselves can initiate. The origin of the Ethics and Review Board is so essential to this community. Otherwise, you should disband. Just stop. This STO not for you to lose your employment. I just want you to know I feel very supportive of the position that you've been in. I really do. But I don't know. You've seen it with your own eyes. It's not like you don't know. You weren't aware. You've been at the meetings. You come to all the meetings. You're unfilling at the meetings. So you know something's going on there. And to tell you, I said a lot of things off the door. The first cousin, the board is to keep the child. Behavior has been off the hook there. Off the reset. And we have been tied into behavior and not enforce the child. I guess when we decide we want to enforce so that we don't need this group we have the charter are you saying we don't need this body because we have a charter is that what you're saying no no i didn't say that oh no, i didn't say that but I don't want to, we have to move the meeting on, I don't want to get it back, and we can talk, we can talk first. Oh, no, we're, we're, no, no, no person. <laughs> I mean, we can, no, but no, I don't no. want to, I, I, I can't, uh, I won't try the meeting up there, I guess at the meeting go at this stage, I guess we have a better, get better understanding how we operate. And you all stay at the meeting. I don't know how, I mean, how long I have mean, been? I mean, my time is as valuable but as yours. I've registered your true. complaint. Yeah. I've asked all of you. In fact, I plead with you to plead. As a union person, you would want to stand with the people, not the management. That's your background. That's your appointment here. It's the union. You've got to stand with the people. Uh, excuse me. I have. 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 I
Go ahead, Bruce. I just want a written copy of, what, of your statement. That's all, because I, I missed out, and I wanted to just make sure that I get a written copy of it, if possible. That's not my assignment. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that was secondary. Yes. Yeah. Anyone else? I would just like one thing clarified. You said when the police come, they don't s support the black woman. Is that what you said? No, ma'am. What did you say? So you can view this on film. You can view exactly what I said. So don't anyone here please try to twist anything that I said. I'm speaking for this body to act ethically and review what you have done to date. Publish what you have done to date. Everything. Every complaint you have received, every resolve that you've made of those complaints. Council people have come here. How have you responded to their concerns? Okay, I just wanted to make sure that I had documented what you said. And I wanted to make sure that's what you said. That's it. I don't understand. You know, I'm not going to go back and listen to it. I just thought maybe you could clarify it for me. And other responses. I'd just like to say thank you uh, for coming out and uh, speaking. We appreciate that. Uh, it is important for us to uh, review uh, the information that comes before us, and that's what we shall do. Uh, thank you once again. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Any other response? This is the new year, people, and we uh, are thinking of moving into the new year. We have some things we had to we had to look at the way we uh, we are uh, handling things. But the first thing we got to do is clean up our own uh, act. And, and uh, have something that's in my ear we're going to have I'm going to, I'm going to change the way we're going to present that today because I'm going to go into closed session uh, I just want to talk about it uh, but what I'd like us to do today is we're going to what the budget of the day is uh, move on with what this board can do and how are we going to operate this year to make sure that we get get, uh, get our act together to move on and Miss uh, McIntosh I see your hand was up you wanted to say something you said go to the session no 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 I say that was something I had planned on it's not here. It's a, a discussion that we can, that this board needs to discuss. But uh, you, have to, I, you have to give a round about. I, I'm you. saying that's probably not going to happen now. I'm, a, I'm changing things. As I'm, I'm going. I'm saying that's one of the things I had. We're going to discuss it, and the board will determine whether we want to go to session uh, to discuss it. And as is, is dealing with a board member behavior, okay? So, so we will to move on so we get to that. We're going to go into a, going to the agenda. We're going to go into item seven, reviewing the group of the agenda.
Chair, did you want to add that to the agenda or something? Or well, I don't need to be on the agenda for this discussion. Well, we can do it now. Um, we can turn it down. everybody.
Good evening, board, and um, thank you for allowing me to come in a little late. I went to the library looking for you, so that explains my tardiness. So, um, as you all see, we have had a, a shift in leadership on the council, and we are trying to do a lot of things uh, correct. We want to make sure that we are abiding by um, not only the um, charter, but we are adhering to council rules, and we are also um, living up to the standards of being a, your professional legislative body. However, I'm coming to you because we have had a series of events that take place and that have taken place in our chamber. Um, you, I don't know if you all witnessed the riot, per se, that we had, the, the disorderly conduct of several uh, audience members last mm -hmm. meeting. Mm -hmm. And as um, one of the disorderly people um, include one of your board members who were there. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, I submitted a letter, and this behavior is ongoing. That was just one of the many incidents that, um, that have taken place. And so we would like for you all to look at this matter seriously because council chambers should be a safe place for the residents of the city of Flint so the business owners to come and so they can participate in their democracy. People should not feel that they're unsafe when they come down to city hall. People shouldn't feel like, like they're going to be attacked when they come down to city hall. They should not feel that way. And unfortunately, that night, a lot of people, they, yeah, it, that feeling was justified. We had to call in 911 to bring people to order. And that's not what we need to do. And so I just encourage this body to take a look at that film and to, and to also just look at it seriously because those that are charged to be over the exit accountability of the city, we need to make sure that we are ethical and that we are also accountable. So that's that. And then the other thing I just wanted to bring to the body was, we have had, we're having a lot of member and intimidation. And we wanted to bring it before this body. And one of the members um, that is a part of this is Councilman Dennis Pfeiffer. Councilman Dennis Pfeiffer, he has been, the last couple of weeks, he has been out of control. Mm -hmm. For one, he has been talking, he's been bragging about breaking corn and said that he would do it every motherfucking time. This is a direct quote, and you can find this on the Foot After Dark podcast. And then he also um, went into conversations calling the council members' names on different podcasts. He also, and, and including body shaming council people, called one, um, one councilwoman fat white liberal. That's very unacceptable. Moreover, during meetings, yelling into the mic during council time, um, you're the worst piece of shit president ever. Last night, it was it came to a head, calling the councilwoman um, the B word, as well as on the microphone telling her that she's the worst piece of shit council person ever. Moreover, Mr. Pfeiffer has destroyed city material, city equipment. He took it and threw it on the floor, and, and it was broken. We have pictures of that and also footage of that. This is intimidating behavior, especially aggressively towards women. And there's it's, it's no place for it here. So as we continue to clean house, we wanted to bring that to you, as well as the other egregious things that have happened um, through Mr. Pfeiffer, as well as his brother, who had physically ran up to attack Councilwoman Worthing during her meeting, and the police had to call him to order. We, should, we come here to serve. We come here to legislate. We don't come here to fight. So please, as you all continue to look at the evidence, and you all do your job, and hold us ethically accountable 
I encourage you to please do that as we continue to clean our house as you do the same. So that's basically what I wanted to add. Oh, and also, um, per the meeting, I saw that um, the council, that Councilman Burns came in and had a conversation about um, Mr. Matthews. I was at that meeting, and unfortunately, her account was grossly inaccurate. Mr. Matthews went up to the lecture, and he was talking, and he was expressing how he felt that it was a conflict of interest for um, Tanya Burns, Jennifer Carter, and, um, and Eric Mays to wear lentil law firm paraphernalia and represent them in the community underneath uh, uh, the lentil law firm tent during public events when this is the same entity that's going around suing the city, putting the city in litigation, and, and also representing different council people. He thought that he was asking was that a conflict of interest and asking was that a gift in terms of the shirt saying with their name embroidered right here, Lentil Law Firm. He just asked. And then their council response, he was attacked by them. They, they got real aggressive. Mr. Matthew, he was continued to sit in his seat. Nothing else was said. That was their council response. We moved on because they were telling him, I, you don't... Um, 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 you don't know if I, if I bought my shirt, that's my shirt. You don't tell me what I can buy. You just went to a crazy back and forth. Not back and forth, but just a forth towards Mr. Matthews. Well, when I looked up, Ms. Burns exited her seat with her tablet, and she was in Mr. Matthews' face. And when I, and when I looked up, she had her finger doing this. I heard a uh, burp, burp, I couldn't make out what was being said, but when I looked up, I saw her finger going in his face. I immediately called Ms. Burns to order. Because according to Rule 27.2, you may not be argumentative with any audience member for any reason. And that's what it appeared to be that what was happening on that day. And when I called her to order and gave her a warning for being argumentative, her and um, also um, Mr. Pfeiffer and I believe um, Ms. Winfrey Carter, they got some broke corn for the meeting. So I didn't want to bring a little clarity to that, and all of that can be viewed if you all view the video tape. Unfortunately, I don't have the, the time to go back and cut and clip. I wish I had the staff to do it, but I do not. But, um, but please be at liberty to take a look at these details. And then Mr. Matthews, he responded on Facebook. Um, well, you know what you said when you responded on Facebook. I said that she wagged a perfectly manicured finger in my face. But that she didn't strike me or I didn't feel that. Oh, uh, I uh, just thought, I, uh, I saw a beautiful man because it was that close. <laughs> so, so that's not how council people should react towards audience members in any way, shape, or fashion. And so I didn't want to bring clarity because I saw that on your man. And I didn't want to make sure that things are true because it's on tape. Everything that happens in that chamber, someone is recording, just like now. It's always being recorded. So we have to make sure that our actions match our words when we're giving our account. So thank you so much for allowing me this time to speak. I appreciate it. You have a timestamp of the ruckus involved in the board. You know what? I sent everything. I, I sent the entire video. It was like a, um, it was like an under ten minutes. I, I had, had within ten minutes. Yeah, I had the time stamp, and I was going to get that information out later. Yeah, I did receive it. Miss Lou, oh, I have you next. Okay, um, Council uh, Councilwoman, um, I am very um, displeased with how the council in general has been acting for the last several years. And what ha was happening is the council is so out of control that when the, when the um, community come in yeah. to state their concerns, it's a battle, you know, with the council and the individuals coming in. And some of those individuals are personal friends of some of the council mm -hmm. people. And so, you know, we keep going back and forth. We've been doing this for years. This last election. We really did think we had a good, you know, council that can work together, but that's not so. Mm -hmm. The only solution I can see at this point is that, you know, those who 
everybody was um, sworn in under oath to serve the community. And the community sometimes have to be always right. They may not be right, but you still have to conduct yourself in a professional manner. And I don't know what you know uh, everybody expects the Ethic and Accountability Board to do. Because we done talked to you, uh, each council person individually. I have talked to my council person. And uh, the vice president and the president attend the meetings. It's, I attended and I really can't handle it. <laughs> I, you know, uh, because it is so unprofessional to sit up there and, you know, it's a waste of my time. I serve on other boards, not just this. And, you know, the only thing, only solution I can see is a whole council get reelected in and the citizens are going to have to learn how to vote people in because they're not doing a good job. They're not, they're not doing a good job. And we, sh we should be able to work with the mayor, the council. That's not happening. You know, it's just too many personal uh, bandettas and I don't know, community mess. It's just a community mess. So, um, and I respect your work in the community. I respect you 100%. I do, I really do. But all the council people, you know, all the members of the council, we have nine. We just have nine. And I really don't think we need nine in the city. It's too much. <laughs> but um, I don't know what, what, what we can do, what else we can do. Call the FBI in or what? What, what can we do? Well, if, if you don't mind, and I, and I just want to be, oh, I just want to be really brief. So, um, we, we will like, as we can clean house, because as you see, we had to suspend a council member for three months. And the reason why is because our council member was um, was making very disrespectful, disrespectful and derogatory remarks towards handicapped people. Okay, um, and I mean, was saying very egregious things. He refused to be brought to order, and he physically, he verbally said, um, I'm going to do what I want to. I'm going to say what I want to. And so those things like that, that is not conducive to order. Now, you can do that in the street. You can do that at your home. But here, you are a person outside of yourself. You are a different person. You are, I'm Council Person Lewis in those chambers, and I am supposed to act accordingly. And so that is the standard that we're holding people to. And I understand, your, I understand what you're saying because last night, I pulled the rule in the charter. I think it um, was it, well, I didn't find it, but it's in the charter. And it said that you can't abstain unless you have a personal interest. We abstain for no, not, not we, but the council body, they abstain. So I brought that up. I was like, we just can't abstain because we don't want to vote. You have to vote yes or no. And only when you have a personal interest. They looked me square dead in my face and said, I'm going to vote how I want to vote. And I said, are you aware that you are breaking the charter? Like I said, I'm going to vote how I want to vote. And they proceeded to abstain. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So that's a disdain for the charter. Yeah. Oh, I just had a question. So you mentioned that the council person broke rule of 27.2 of council rules um, for holding members accountable. Do you have any? Does the council have any accountability process in place for when council members break their own rules, or is it just expected that the ethics board handles all of those complaints? So, so what we have is progressive discipline. Okay, and first is the, the censure. Then after the censure, is your is um you are removed from meetings. And so the basically we've done after the censure thirty days. But, you know, if it has to be a meeting and a, um, a council meeting, a committee meeting, yeah, but then that's when we start moving from meetings. So, unfortunately, the council member in the third ward, he already received a month, and so, but this behavior proceeded. So, therefore, we had to go for three months. Mm -hmm. first so, first word. Hmm? First word? Excuse me, first. first, first. Was it first? No, 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 it's okay. first, okay. first, okay. first okay. word. Okay. Okay. Now, what was that first step you mentioned? A, 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 a censor. So, so you you receive a warning saying, "Hey, uh -huh. um, this is um, this is what you did." Like for example, um, Jennifer Carter, she was censored yesterday for threatening to stab Eva Wardens Titus. Mm -hmm. 
See, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it, it's, so, it's, it's becoming personal and petty, you know. And, and how can we control that? How can we control uh, the council people being like babies? Or like high school uh, teenagers? How can we control that? Uh, the council is supposed to have control. Oh, you know, you guys are up here. You know, we below you a little bit. And and how can we control up here? You know, we here. How can we control up here? I mean, it, it's just it's ridiculous to me. It's just ridiculous. I know that you all make recommendations, and because well, uh, nobody listening to our recommendations, we can uh -huh. make them uh -huh. in writing. <clears throat> Well, um, it, it was was it last? You all made recommendations to council, and you're and I remember that, that you said it is the the job of the council to govern and, and yeah, bring that there. The right, right. right. Is that your right. job? Mm -hmm. So yeah, so this yeah, is so. our job, and that's your job. They got a job, he got a job, the mayor got a job. You know, we can't we can't just you know what we're we gonna do run all over city hall. So, so I'm here. The reason why I brought that uh, our council member to you is um, is for your recommendation. Okay. That, that's why we're here for your recommendation because um, we need we would like to hear since this is your job to hold people accountable. Mm -hmm. We want to we want to get your take on when you all view the all the footage and all the evidence. What would your recommendation be? Because that that's where we are. So when you have someone coming to meeting, um, calling you bitches and hunts and stuff, you know, um, what would you do? Breaking city property. How? What's the best way to deal with these things? And again, it's all on film, and we have a picture to back it. Well, it wasn't a council Legal charges. Legal charges? Well, the council. I thought you called her. Oh, you said Ms. Harris. Ms. Harris. Uh, I'll, I'll say this. Um, I myself have gone before council a couple of times. And my, my warnings were not um, heeded to. And, 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 I, and I specifically, I spoke and Mr. King spoke, we specifically warned council to, what's the word I'm looking for? Leave all, my quote, leave all personalities at the door. Because I knew that it was going to get worse, and it has gotten worse. And uh, frankly, I'm, I'm just not hearing this. Uh, forgive me. I was not watching city council last night. I was watching Michigan Whoop on uh, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the game. Um, so I didn't know um, my council, my councilman has been acting uh, this unseemly. Uh, I cannot apologize. Well, I can't apologize for him, but as a representative of the Eighth Ward, as an appointee, I do apologize for the Eighth Ward and any conduct in any way that you guys have all have felt um, uh, hurt in, in, in any form or fashion. And um, again, council governs themselves, <coughs> and I think the problem is is what happened. Is, is that council didn't handle things, this is just my opinion, and I could be wrong in my opinion, but council didn't handle things fairly from the get-go. And it set a precedence. And when somebody, when a precedence has been set, and somebody feels wronged by the institution that should protect them, they're going to fight. Mm -hmm. and, 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 in that, and in that case, one of your members was not protected by the institution that should be protecting that individual in the right manner. And the issue is, is this, everybody should get the, the same equal treatment across the board of protection. Uh -huh. And when an animal is cornered and put its back against the wall, it's gonna come out fighting. 
even if the let's just say it's not, let's just say a few times that, that that has gone away, that animal is still going to feel cornered and it's going to constantly feel attacked. And 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 that's just me. And that's been and that's been happening from from the get go. And it's just it's just not it's not even killed. And it should. Discipline should be even killed across the board. And and, and I res I respect every single council person that sits there in that seat. Because one, they're elected, two, I elect I voted for um, Councilman Pfeiffer. And I respect him as an I respect him as an individual. And I respect our council, but I I, I need I mean we can only do so much as the board, like like I, like 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 Mrs. Booth has said, like Micah has said. We can only do so much per the charter. Per the charter is what we uphold. Now, granted, we also uphold ordinances, and we also can uphold. We can also uphold your board rulings that you guys make. But we're, that's when we say, you guys put these rules in place. You guys gotta follow. Them. And he's serving under oath. You know, that's what gets me. Right. Well, Ms. Lewis, I'd like to first say that um, I admire your control. You sit there and you handle yourself professionally. I appreciate that. I've been watching, watching council meetings for years. I've never seen it like this before. But the one thing that I think we need to do if we are the Ethics and Accountability Board, we need to bring some accountability. We really do. And the one thing, having those meetings till 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, is totally ridiculous. When you met over at the, at the, at the uh, across the street, they said you're out by 9.30. You were out by 9.30, according to the 10 at the latest. That's got to come. That's got to happen. It doesn't make sense that people spend their time coming down there to sit through the rhetoric. I get up angry at home, okay? I got angry last night when your colleague said, let the public speak. She's got a right to say what she's saying. She did not have a right to say what she was saying. Not to any individual. She should have never been able to speak ill of anybody. You don't go to no mic and cuss nobody out and say what you want to say. And then the council person said she has a right. She should have been censored at that point because that was wrong. They appealed the rulers of, 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 of the chair. So we are ruling out of order and then they began um, the specific council members and the appeal process saying that we should be able to allow them to um, use hate speech moreover, um, to yell out <coughs> outside of the lectern. I mean, yell out, meaning like say, I, I'm, in, I'm in my seat, and I'm yelling out in the meeting. We don't like you anyway. You need to shut up. Right. And so when we bring in the order, we're told you leave them alone from colleagues. You leave them alone and you let them speak. That's not what our rules say. Our rules exactly. say you speak at the lectern exactly. during public speaking. It's just time for, if this board, I, you know, I'm new to the board, but my ideas, I think, have been coming for years because I've been watching you guys. Mm -hmm. When my husband was in office, I used to come down there and sit. Mm -hmm. I'd come and sit and I'd listen. None of this happened. None of this. The past 10 years have been horrible. They filibustered. And who's hurting? You know who's getting hurt? Us. Yeah. We're getting hurt because you're sitting yeah. there for 8 to 10 here. hours. We're just here too. Talking about each other. She called me ghetto. She she hurt me. She's parked in my parking spot. Well, so what? That's not why you're there. And somebody's going to have to get them to realize that. I've been threatening to come. But now that I'm sitting on this board, I'm not going to come because I know me. It's very disrespectful for a board member who's supposed to be on the ethics and accountability board to go and cuss somebody out or tell somebody off. And you're supposed to be the one helping so you're not even the issue. You're, you're the problem. You're not going to help solve anything because you're the problem. And I'm not going to come down there as a problem. I know better. But we have got to become what we are, ethics and accountability. We've got to show some accountability. I'm really I'm anxious to get going, to get something going, because 
I don't care who appointed me. I'm not a yes person. I'm not a no person. I'm here because I want to see the city of Flint move forward. I want to see us do better. And I want to see the people get justice. We've got so many issues in this city that need to be addressed. And nobody's talking about them. They're talking about each other. It needs to stop. I admire what you're doing. I think you're doing a great job. They, t they said one thing last night I wasn't quite sure of. Uh, one of the council people told Michelle that she was not legal, that she should not be cheering. Yeah. That's not true. Yeah. That's not true. I researched that today. That is not, she is legal. Now when her election comes up, things may change. But I want to see the people get what they deserve. And that needs to happen sooner than later. And if this board has been put together to make changes, I think if we're not getting heard, then maybe we all do need to collectively come down and meet with each one of these people. Because they have no right to do what they're doing. And it's filibustering, and it's only spending time to make something not happen. That's what it's all about. Because they're upset that their candidate did not win, and they're trying to make the one who did win look bad. That's what it's all about. And it needs to stop. So I'm 100% trying to make things happen. But yeah, go ahead. First of all, I'm listening to everything everybody's saying. And I hear a lot of bad them, y'all. That's the way it is, y'all. Secondly, I get calls too. About everybody, including my own council person. Mm -hmm. I also got a call about an issue that took place over at the school where a council person cussed out another council person. About three people called me about that. But like I told them, you can file your complaint with the police because we don't govern the city council, they govern themselves. But yes, it was unethical. I got a call, I get a call about all the city council people, not just three. Okay? So if we're going to be the ethics and accountability board, we can't sit up here and pretend like we don't see everything they do. First of all, sicking the police on the residents. Folks got constitutional rights. And when they see you breaking the law, changing the two-thirds rule to benefit you, walking out meetings when people's kids didn't die, and all these things, it's enough blame for every single kind. It ain't just no one. It ain't just... And it ain't just Max. No, it's not. It ain't just Max. Yes, yes, he stirs the pot. But guess what? It's a bunch of stuff in the pot to be stirred. Okay? So I'm not going to sit up here and pretend, oh, y'all, they oh, they, you, y'all. Hold on. No, 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 because you public spoke. And I listen to everybody. So we're done with public speaking. This is not a back and forth. No, you well, excuse me. Excuse Let's get that one minute right now. I'll tell you what somebody called me and said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 let's stay, let's stay calm, man. Uh, I know where else. That's right. That, 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 that's not, I'm that's speaking not about the entire city. Not and I'm not going to be afraid because nobody's sitting in the room. I'm going to talk about all of them. Maybe uh -huh. excuse me, sir. So what I'm saying is, this thing is all over the place because of the entire city council, okay? ARPA funds ain't came to the community. Water funds ain't came to the community. The water bills is high. The pipes replacement still ain't done. Citizens are frustrated. People got constitutional rights to speak out when they're not happy with what you're doing. It might not be right. It might, they might not be saying the nicest stuff, but city council ain't nice too. Tanya Burns ain't the only one who can jump up in somebody's face. Other council people that touch people, jump up on people. I ain't heard nothing about none of them. That's the problem. Don't come just tell what somebody else did. Tell the whole story. Because we all make mistakes and we all get in our feelings if you're sincere about the work you do. Okay? That's just how we go. If you're really passionate about what you're doing, you get a little revved up sometimes. But you even get more revved up when you're paying taxes you done voted for somebody, and you get them in there, and they represent they self, or they non-profit, okay? The residents is kind of. So them people that you stick the police on, they ain't all somebody friends. Some of them is concerned taxpaying residents who are fed up with the whole city council. 
Thank you. Yeah, so th thank you. So a lot of things that was said, it sounded a little personal. But excuse, but, excuse but, but that's me. Oh, 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 are we on right. discussion? Because I thought public speaking was all alone. No, you have. She was. She still was told. She rebutted everything. Somebody speaking. She speaking. No, no. Yeah. Nah, nah. Because they don't. No, so I understand that yeah, she spoke right. Kidding. And no, she's still she speaking. Oh, hers. Is, we speak then. She no, get to speak again. We, have, we speak then. She get to speak we again. We have said. Because I ain't never seen that before. No, but that, that that's where we start out. And that's what we have. You didn't tell us that's how it was done, though. Well, we've been doing it. We, we've been doing it to to this speaker. Here, one of us questions that she had asked. She and see, that's what that lady was talking about with you, Mister King. These special rules, but you go right here because they see you too. Go ahead. But, uh, God, come on. Of course, then, Mr. So, like I was saying, um, a lot of that rebuttal, it, it, it seemed a little personal, but I'm just going to go back to the main thing. And the main thing is this. It is not our job to weaponize the police on anyone. It is our job to make sure that we maintain order in those chambers. And so, and so, and, and, and you are absolutely right. And so if council or audience members alike are not following the rules, they will be brought to order. If they are not brought, if they are not brought to order, they will receive their first warning. Have you ever brought an or even warning? Have you ever warned or even warning? And I'll ask you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let the speaker speak now. At a time that I Try to chair me, let them chair, and let's not let's not interrupt each other. Let's let's change let's, the rules today. Okay. Oh, but, go ahead. Right, so Mr. Yeah. I, I do apologize. I'm not here for you to be attacked. I'm just here to just state what's happening so we can get a, a resolution. I'm, I'm just making sure that everyone know how this body is functioning underneath my leadership. You will be brought to order. And if you are not brought to order, you receive your first warning. You don't see a, um, if you do not come to order under this first warning, you'll receive a second warning, and you will be removed from the meeting. Audience members, if you are an audience member, we don't yet. Yeah, after you get a first warning, you may be asked to leave. I was informed that, yeah, you don't need a second warning. Underneath of this worldly person city post subsection, it says that you will receive one warning. If you proceed to be disorderly, you may be um, removed from the meeting and you may be arrested for a misdemeanor. And so we encourage for individuals to please bring your passion down. Mm -hmm. Your passion cannot turn to hate speech. Your passion cannot turn to, um, to aggression towards council members. It may not. And if you cannot maintain your decorum, and council rules, me, and, and rules within our chambers, then maybe you need to watch the meeting from your house. Yeah. And so you decide if the taxpayers can go uh, to open the meeting. Mr. Chair, yeah. See, that's the problem. That's why city council don't work. That's, <laughs> that's why I wanted to say this is not an emotional meeting. This is a, the Ethics and Accountability Board meeting. This meeting, we are, we, we have not a back and forth thing. Average. We, we have a, I'm speaking right now, but if you have a, a public comment, then you have your public comment. When you're done, then we have our, what we don't say, and then um, we go to the next agenda item. We ain't gonna be here at one o'clock. So we, if we're gonna have a complaint file, it needs to go through the proper channel to get a complaint file. Once the complaint is filed, then we'll do our investigation. We're not investigating at this table. It's, this is not the place for it. So we need to continue this uh, agenda. Or y'all can have a discussion. I'll be going home. <laughs> no, it's fine. So, um, so I'll just let me speak. Mr. King, I'm going to go ahead and just um, see my way out. So that's what I was doing. And I appreciate the time. And one more thing, Mr. Mr. King. I wanted to um, let her know about the, um, these, uh, the voting for... Um, it's a section three two zero four, right? For voting, uh, okay. yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you read it, you have to read it in with the period where it says that um, whenever city council shall hold a vote, all members shall be required to vote 
either yay or nay. Mm -hmm. Then you stop. Then you go to the next part where it says all members shall vote on every matter before the city council. Unless the matter, of the, I mean, unless the member has a conflict of interest, including their vote, as set forth in Article 1. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's saying that they vote yes or no unless. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to vote yes or no. Mm -hmm. They can vote mm -hmm. otherwise. Yeah. Thank you. It's just the, it's the um, understanding of it to me, if anybody else has it. So, so we're, we're, so, so mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. She has worshiped in the fly too. It wasn't a rule change, it was just what was set from the get go. Now, if we didn't have, if we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't like it, we didn't like it, we didn't have to. That but was, we we didn't have to. I like we had to, we, we tried to stop it. We wouldn't allow it, so we must have had to. It was the agenda, it wasn't a rule change, was it? No, no, we didn't change the rule, we didn't change the rule, I changed it. He just did how he did it and why he wanted to do it. He didn't change it. Well, we're going to move on. But we have, we've had uh, other public speakers. And it's never went like this. Right? They never the, placed the, 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 the And then you sat there the, and had her. Mr. Dancer, you were not here and I'm not going to ask her. I bet you, 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 I bet you. Public speaker, she did not speak to the public speaker. How much you were that I had. She was late, she missed public speaker. I had allowed her to speak. We know. Uh, boy. We're going to move that was unclear, and that was so unnecessary. We're going to move on. And she was doing that. That was so unnecessary. Mr. Chair, I call the question. Let's move forward. We're moving on the agenda. Next time on the agenda, it's old business and new business. Okay. So my first question is, how do you feel about the fact that there's a new member of the board? Yes, yes, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, that's Happy New Year. Um, office. We've been getting a lot of um, previous complaints uh, due to the weather at being good to people um, when they were told that their, some of their yards and sidewalks weren't going to be repaired because the ground was going to be frozen mm -hmm. and that hasn't happened. And the city did take it upon themselves to the subcontract of road construction. And a lot of you did get prepared doing this, doing, even doing the holiday. Oh, good. So we got it's a lot of satisfied citizens that they, they started, and they, they said they may not be able to complete them, but a lot of those complaints that were, that were made, mm -hmm. they started working on them, they restored lawns, they restored mm -hmm. sidewalks and, and driveways. The other um, complaints, of course, is about still about blight. And again, with me right, being right next door to blight, most of those complaints are taken care of right away because uh, take it over to Ms. Martin and her and her team, and they get right on it. Whether somebody has received the ticket that they think is unfair, or whether they never got a refrigerator sitting on, on the front yard. The other was I had a situation with um, it, it was out of the realms of the um, ombudsman person's um, job, but the young lady needed some help with the police department with actual a case that had to be closed of a um, suicide of her loved one, and she just desperately wanted to speak to somebody. You know, because you know when you call that number, you can't get anybody. So I just reached out to some contacts that I had, and they reached out to her and talked to her, and that she felt good about that. Okay. So other than that, we're trying to get the budget and get everything situated. Um, the budget committee and I have just been busy. I'm trying to make sure we get the um, on bus first time budget um, budget um, done correctly and fairly. And so thus far, everything's been, been good. I just still need. Still, still needs to be help. Okay. Thank you. Did you get a one? Have a question? Did you get a call back or email back? A quote? 
Oh, sorry about that. Yes, I did. Um, they were good, but I found out later once I pitched the idea to buy, to um, finance that the city has a contract with Xerox, and we need to reach out to them first. Yeah. By the copy, I'm sorry. Um, yes, I'm, I'm thinking everybody now. Um, we decided that it would be best for the office for us to have a complete full copier mm -hmm. so that I don't have to run to printers when I do have to make 11 by 17 or mm -hmm. 8 and a half by 14. Mm -hmm. And um, so we we, were, we um, set out to get quotes for leasing and purchasing. Uh -oh. And um, Mr. Um, Julian gave a personal referral from a company in Virginia came down very good, very, very professional, the price was reasonable. And as I stated, when we went forward with finances to see mm -hmm. um, and how it was going to fit this into the budget, um, they mm -hmm. told us that we had a contract, a standing contract with another company to give that company a chance to be it. It's been two weeks, still haven't, just that we're checking on, we're checking on. I haven't heard from them yet, but I got the full setup from right or from, from the gentleman that you referred. And he said he was going to tell his guy that you did a good job with a good version to this person. Mm -hmm. Um, we need to be working on our end of year report. Mm -hmm. um, I know, Mr. Harris, you already asked her to compile it. Have mm -hmm. you had an opportunity to I have some, but I have to, I'll tell her today. I don't have it all. But I, um, since we kind of got the budget kind of together, um, that, that's, I'm going to focus my attention on getting those items right. that we requested. But um, cause we had a, a meeting today in reference to the budget, so I think we kind of Okay with that, and I move forward with getting those items that you requested. Okay. And this little house that kind of was removed on the street, finally, okay. off the street. Okay. And it's been sitting here like three years. I kept getting them. So, okay. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the case closed. Thank you. That, yeah, that helped a lot. And according to Ms. Bell, might I take a motion to approve her report? So moved. To, uh, to uh, you know, clear up some things. Uh -huh. and I think that uh, when when other council people are given the opportunity to speak in front of y'all, and obviously everybody to come down here, um, and, and I don't think not many people here, maybe one or two, ever show up to our council meetings uh -huh. and see stuff that isn't on the camera. Um, so first and foremost, I don't want anybody to ever apologize about me. I can speak for myself. Uh -huh. um, the things that this body doesn't know, or maybe they do know, when there is um, issues and there is um, blatant, um, I'm going to say, unfair treatment, when if Mr. King said, Mr. Harris, you're out of line, you can't speak every two seconds or or, or the vice versa. He gets away with everything and then the other people are called to order. That's just, that is what is happening. And last night, I had an outburst because the councilwoman in the ninth ward brought up a health scare that I had. I had two strokes. I think maybe you know it, maybe you don't know it. But she brought that on the floor during a derogatory comment. Uh -huh. So if if we want to say that that kind of stuff is okay, tell the whole story. And, and we don't, and we don't, we want to ignore everything that's not on the camera. Uh -huh. And we and we want to we want to sit there and uh, you know say other people are out of line 
But if you're not there and you don't see the, the under the breath comments, I started bringing my own cameras. Mm -hmm. I have a camera out there in the middle of the thing to capture everything. I have a camera in my, I'm going to say cubicle now because they put up little walls. Because there's a lot of stuff that happens that the public or anything of the under the breath comments, the FUs, the, the you're a piece of shits under your breath that nobody else hears, that's the stuff that we deal with. And then when we lash out, we get uh, ostracized. We get um, anything else. Anybody knows me, I'm, I'm um, and, and, and Billy, I think we, we, we know that we're pretty level-headed. Yeah. And it, it takes a lot to piss me off. Um, but there's only so much you can take. There's only so much you can take. And then when the president sits up here and you see, oh, you're out of line, you're out of order, you're out of order. The rules only go one way. Mm -hmm. The rules only go one way. There was a young lady um, that stood up in the audience when I had the floor, when I was speaking, she got up and yelled from the back of the room, no warning, no, you're out of line, because she was defending the president. But if Rich Jones says no, just uh, like, or said, uh-uh, or anything, you got a warning. So there's two standards, maybe three standards, and this body has to realize that the stuff that you see on camera is about a quarter of the shit that happens. So I know Jim, Mr. King shows up every once in a while, but come up there, I'll put a damn chair right behind me. You can uh, hear everything. Uh. Uh, so when you when you when you sit up here in, in this board and you only hear one half of the story or a third of the story, mm -hmm. um, just realize that everything happens for a reason and you might not know X, Y, and Z why we got to point A. Mm -hmm. And it, and I don't want to take up any more of this board's time, but until you, until you realize that and that there's a double standard and they're trying to implement rules now that if the board if the if the uh, chair says you're not germane, mm -hmm. like germane is a is a is a uh, oh it's, it's like I can be talking about Mr. Harris's pink shirt, but bring it around to why. It's a good call. Like Jermaine, it, it's it's a. I can take your time away, and you are not allowed to speak. You can say something. Your first word. No, you're not Jermaine. You lost your time. That's the new rules that they're going to put on people. They were going to cut private or uh, public speaking time from three minutes down to two minutes. I saw that. They are going to take away our ability to discuss things on the floor from five minutes to three minutes. And then you can call the question, the bullshit, now two-thirds, eight of two, what's two-thirds of eight, Mr. Harris? It's more than five. It is. But now, but now they're making up their own rules, uh, five, Shit, that's good. I ain't taking no notes. Yeah, they should be. It's, well, they, they, the rule said two thirds of the presence. So if there's seven people, the five math works. But even if there's eight, they're saying that five is two thirds. Is that is out of their own rules. That is out of their own rules. Yeah, that was out of their own rules. Back to the other question. I had a question that Mr. Mr. King, as chair, I've been here since April. and. I feel like all we do is listen to council complain about each other. Mm -hmm. So we've not passed any, we haven't changed anything, we haven't moved anything, we haven't been affected. So is our job to babysit council who are all adults, who are all elected officials, and monitor their behavior? Or we can hold them accountable and set like broad slashes of behavior needs to be across the board. If this person can only speak for three minutes, then this person can only speak for three minutes. And we need to challenge every council person. I mean, council person Pfeiffer, you're in here. What will you do on Monday to make it better for the citizens in the audience, the citizens at home, and the residents of Flint who are desperate 
for our council to take action in our best interest. Because I can't sit here twice a week and listen to you guys complain like you're middle school. Did, did you say that same per thing to the person oh, I was yeah. here before? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We okay. have. We have said this many so This is the first I'm, time what, I've seen you. What I'm going to do, and it's not Monday, so our, next, our next meeting is Wednesday. What are you going to do to make it better? Instead of make the, everyone making things worse, what are you guys going to do to make it better? Better for everyone. So I'm going to make it fair. Like, to uh, whether or not it makes it good or not, my job is to make sure it's fair and the process is done fairly and completely and, and, and transparently. Cool. That's what I'm going to do. I don't care what the process looks like. If you guys have a problem with the process, you let us know. Where's the, where's the report from this body saying anything about the council? There is an objection from this body. Well, I mean, I've seen Mr. King and Mr. Harris go speak publicly. Mr. Harris was on the news talking about conduct in front of council in the last year. Twice. Twice. We're Twice. by, by uh, city charter, this body makes recommendations to council. Where is a recommendation in the past two years? Where's it, since I've been on that? We have, we have seen maybe a letter that's saying we need to address, we need to answer, I don't remember the, the thing. We got one letter saying address why something happened in two years from this body. So what are you going to do on this body to help council out? I'm just saying, no, 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 since, since no, I've been elected, no, 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 I, I, this is a this is a no show. Right? Right? This, this what are you guys going to do? She didn't say that when the bill was here. I'm just, I'm just being. Shit, I don't want to move like TV Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to this? And I'll, I'll say this as well, because I said it before. I said things weren't. It started out that way. It started out as lopsided, so it was going to continue. No, 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 no. Everybody's got good intentions. Right. I'm not saying, I'm not talking about the intention. Everybody wants good. Right. But until, you know, if I do something wrong, hold me accountable. I have no problem with that. And so, I agree with so where is anybody hold anybody accountable? And that's and that was my, and that was my thing when I sat here. I said nobody. It's got to be fair across the board. Yeah. And I admit it. When it's not, not fair. fair, when it's not fair on council, I have to stand up and I have to that's do what I have to do to make sure that there's a level that's playing field. Field. That's a, that's all. That's all going to be included. I'll just say this. That's all going to be included in the end of the year report. I asked for this little to gather all of the data and information because you're on that subcommittee. So we're all going to get together, um, form, the sub form the end of the year report, bring it back to the board for the board to be able to say, you know, this is the committee's report of our gatherings. Then we'll go before city council and we present all of our recommendations from what should be done, what needs to be done, this, that, and the other. Okay. I was at our committee. Yeah, I got a question. So, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I hear what you're saying because when we had to deal with um, the situation with uh, I can't think of his position here that's part of the administration mm -hmm. when he hollered and that's, scared that's the public. Here. That's the, that's the gentleman I'm referring to. When he scared the public, this body didn't say, you guys didn't do anything. They swept that under the rug and mm -hmm. said, oh, who, you know, that's council issue. We don't care. That's basically what you guys said. Because nothing happened. There was no recommendations. There was there, there was nothing. I tried to make a recommendation for the record. I tried to make a recommendation. Well, outside of you, but I'm just saying, as a... Shit, Mickey, I, I got this meeting from now on. It's pretty good, Mickey. Well, they right. And this is why we in the situation we in. Because don't nobody want to listen. Well, I can. They talking about... Oh, sorry. Uh-oh. And I know we're trying to... Roll this along, but I appreciate you coming in. I appreciate any council person coming in. The problem is, is that there aren't official complaints filed, so you guys are talking back and forth against about what happened. And I get calls from Eva sometimes or texts about stuff that happened at the board, but there's no official complaint filed. So 
I, but I, uh, so to your point, though, what good is a complaint? Yeah. Well, the complaint allows us well, to start the process of, of, of investigating. What, of doing what? What, what complaint have you guys turned into anything? Nothing. Well, a lot of times. Uh, because, I, because I'll do a complaint on Eva for standing up wanting to fight the last night. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she did. Did, she did, did you guys see that on camera? Yeah, I did. So I, if I did a complaint on oh, Eva standing up and in, in in wanting to attack me last night, what is that? What is this body going to do? If, if there was actually action on a previous complaint, maybe you guys would get actual germane complaints that you can act upon. So what good of it is anybody, and, and uh, Mr. King, what what action have you ever oh, taken shit. of this body on oh, a complaint and escalated it? Well, we're, we have we have made recommendations about a council person, and they city council has taken action upon our recommendation. I can't give you what we would do on so, a so, I would say so file the complaint. And what, action the had, what, what action has the city council taken? Yeah. 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 I'm not trying to be sarcastic or anything else, but you know, if you go down in speed, she came and, and started all of this shit. With the charter, if you go down in speed and you get a ticket, you pay a fine. If you get a complaint, you are going to get a strongly word. In two years, what has this body done to bring the council to change council as a whole in the in the big research? Uh huh. And that's probably a deficiency in the charter where there's not more action. And I'm not blaming you guys, but, but as, as we have to come together at some point and figure out how to fix it and move forward. And we're just ducks with our feet underwater right now because it's, it's all just a shit show. Okay. I'm sorry, he had, he had a question over there one. I didn't have a question. I just wanted to say you are correct. Uh, some of the things in the charter are vague, yeah. and so it do need to be changed. Um, but we don't change that. We have to deal with what we have before us. At what the but charter but says. to the but the, to the point of this body, is you make recommendations. Let me finish, and I I continue and tell you what we do do is we when we get a complaint. We go through investigations, or we 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 go through the process of finding out um, what what happened, so that we can uh, come before council and make a recommendation. We don't just sit around here. We ain't just been sitting here for two years. We have been getting complaints, and we do investigate. So it may not look like you see anything because it gets voted on and voted out just like you go through. And I'm not saying you guys don't investigate, but there has been zero recommendations to come. Because you didn't have anything come to you. What, what you don't get, we still have to do. So but, it but, don't mean that we're not doing anything. In no, but time. unless it comes out of this room, you're doing it all for none. Well, we, 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 we're we not here for none because we have to investigate. If, unless you sit in here, you won't see the investigation. Whether it's whether a person agree with it or they don't agree with it, this is what we do. So, so is there a report on every investigation? Yes. And, and that is available? That's what we give at the end of the year or uh, whatever the time frame is. Yeah. Yep. At the same accountability board. Yeah. And, and, I, and I'll get out of here. I don't want to yeah, but, but, there, but there, there is, there is some changes that need to be made according to the charter. Yeah. But I, that's I not was, our... I would just, you know, I understand what you're saying, that there's investigations and stuff like that. But unless there is something that is actionable on that 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 can go to council, and we can actually discuss it, and and that is brought to maybe more of the public's eye, and, and all of that, that's how we bring more change. And that's what it's for. 
when we when we investigate, we find out was there a, a wrong, yep. if it wasn't a wrong, and then you have nine people or eleven people that vote on it. And then once it's voted that there was a wrong, then we, we come up with our recommendation. We take it to those that need to get it, whether it's council or whether it's the administration, and then they have to move forward on the recommendation whether they're going to do something or they're not. You have five votes that are going to say, yeah, we're going to do something, and that's when something gets done now. We are a recommendation. So we haven't had anything that we had to take before uh, city council for recommendation. All we did was say we have a problem with the way that it's going. Mm -hmm. And we want to know why is so it going are. this way. Come and let us know what's going on. What can be changed? How are y'all going to change this? Mm -hmm. But it was no communication like it should have been. But the recommendation is just the part of it. No, and the other issue is, is when a complaint has been submitted, but then you get lawyers involved and, and lawsuits involved on that complaint. We won't, we will stop. We'll drop the complaint right then mm -hmm. until litigation is done and we let, and we let the judge handle it and, and squash it all on that end. And obviously that has happened on a couple of the complaints that we've gotten. We were investigating them and when they got turned over and said, well, we're going to look in this and we're going to get our lawyers involved and when they sued, um, it, it just it was basically the board just said okay lawyers are involved this is something we can't touch we voted on it and we decided to drop it until um, the law until the judge makes a recommendation the judge made his recommendation and counsel either had to abide by it or they didn't have to abide by it but and at that point it's out of our hands can, can, I, I'm going to get out of here. I, I know you, you guys, I don't want to bombard your meeting. I kind of already did. Um, before you do that, I would I would just ask, can there be a rotating person from this body that sits on our council meetings, that sits at our council meetings, and that reports back to you guys the actuality of an incident? I mean, there's 11 people. You might have to go to one or two meetings a year. That may help, and that may provide some clarity and insight to actually what is happening instead of, because, you know, people are alerting me about this meeting and about here, about all the lies that are being told. So I'm literally 30 seconds away, I come up here and just to shoot down the, the lies and try to get the truth out there. And so when you guys get up here and you talk about things, know that there's at least two sides. One is, we tried it, and then I can say that most of everyone here, we're not looking at size and doing that facts. The facts that we had to work with, if we don't, if we can, if wherever the facts go, then we make a decision. It doesn't matter if it's your side, this side, or what, it's the way it fit into the channel. We've got to deal with it. But one of the biggest problems I can tell you are one of you go back and look at this council that they have now. Look at the, the day that they were sworn in. This council blatantly stood out and said that I'm gonna say they were not going to work. It's very people. They said the stage oh. there, and it, it is not going to change. Uh, yeah, that, and that, 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 that this time. So, yeah. I mean, we can, we can go back and forth and say who, who, what. But you have said that, and it was said, 15 minutes that this council was sworn in, what they weren't going to do, what they were not going to do, and it has not changed, it has that just keep elevating. Yeah. So, I mean, we can, we can do the best we can, but we're not going to, we, we are not going to change habits. All we can do is try to do what we can with this child up to try to straighten things out as much as we can. No, I'm just saying, I appreciate all y'all. I'll let you get back to your agenda. Appreciate you giving me the opportunity to uh, to speak. And, uh, thank you. All right. Well, thank you for coming. Uh, we will get into back into more business and we will get into. Business, business. We would get in.
to a low visit from Hyde to find everyone is here. We have, uh, uh, Mr. King. We don't have no uh -huh. oh, Can I just ask one question? I have two pages of my trying to study everything, the bylaws. Are these complete? Is this all the bylaws that we have? Yeah. That's it. They're not being worked on. This is what we have. That this is what we're we're. Those those are the ones that we did when we first put the board together. Okay, I just want to make sure uh, yeah, I didn't study enough. We will it's not making we a lot of we will have, sense. <laughs> we have we have a committee who working on something. into too much pain trying to control things. And that's really slow things out. We just need the pain to make it work. And we got some issues with that. We got one issue that house came through and that and that issue is the one that I was saying we are going into closed system to talk about. And that had to do with with self complaint. And it was being brought to the board attention earlier that we need to we we need to address we need to address our own self. Mm -hmm. We have to we have to clean our house up in order to clean up everybody else's house. So if uh, because uh, because of that is a complaint that I've had not not had. Is this a big complaint? It has been, it has been. Okay, then we need to cancel that. No, well, when it comes to this board, we don't need a written. When we, uh -huh. in our conduct, we have to police ourselves. And I'm not in. Is that a right that we don't need a complaint? A written complaint against one another? Against one another. We're not. The complaint that I have is, is our rule, our government, the complaint of this board. How, what we do. What and rule it is in the bylaws. What rule is it? Okay. Look at it. Look at it. Okay. If somebody has a bylaw that is this board, how we conduct ourselves. Mm -hmm. And you were there, we did those rules. And so you were there, we talked about it, a lot of things that even when you listen to what you call them as part of this. Uh, uh, talk to myself. Me and self have conversations. I have a copy of the bylaws of the person. I have copies of the Um, is, is, is this under new business or are we, because um, right now we still have, we still have some old business that we do have to still take care of before we go into new business. Quiet as hell. Because there was some questions. Everybody here. Well, it, it, it's, 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 well, what the board want to do is you confirm we can all that off the board to make this shit happen. I guess we can go about close sex and other things that would come back out by the end of the season. We can do the old business. Okay. Because and, and then we're going to uh, we're going to the new business and the close session. Where's close session at? No. Where's the close session? No. We have thing on the go uh, so for whole business um, we all voted for uh, Mr. Edwards to appear before this board to offer an apology to Mrs. Lurie and the board for his um, for the email that went out that we find um, her, her uh, 
her ability, her character, and then her ability also to function as a ombudsman. And then it also impeded in regards of the selection process as well. It was in the minutes. We asked them to come. Uh, our secretary <laughs> um, sent a letter, an uh, email to uh, Mr. Edwards. And Mr. Edwards is not resident as far as old business goes. Wait, who sent that email? My camera slid. We were supposed to send the email to Mr. Edwards in regards to asking him to come to our first meeting of the year for January 9th. Okay, that did not happen. Was it agreed on what it was supposed to say? Wasn't that the one we couldn't agree on what it was supposed to say? That was the one. Yeah. But we had agreed that we would ask him to come to the next meeting. Yeah. I just didn't get it done. So unless we send the meeting. Ms. Little, did you send anything? No. Okay. So I can send that and invite him to the next meeting. Okay. Which is when? The 24th. The 24th. I forgot to invite. To uh, okay. Okay.
Here's that right here. And yeah. my notes right there up there at the top. I know that I'm not right there. I got, I got my notes. Like ATN News Media Group right here. Sure. I answer kind of yeah. to this action yeah. because I'm really feeling that way. I'm chopped meat and yeah. I thought we discussed. Give me my stuff discussed back. Discussed I'll give you my shit. I had yeah. nine days. Yeah. 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 Understanding the charter provision you're referring to specifically excludes the ombudsperson position from that 90 day provision that you were talking about. Hmm. So the interim ombudsperson can serve as an interim longer than 90 days without automatically becoming permanent. Okay, so let me ask you about the other 10 positions she filled that she's been interim for evidently because ain't nobody else been there but her. She don't qualify for no different uh, positions under that provision then? Because she done been everything in this office for more than 90 days, including the iron board. I'm not sure. I'm I'm asking him. I'm asking Lico. And the charter provision that I'm referring to refers to, it it talks about department heads, the ombudsperson, which is specifically excluded. It doesn't refer to or discuss um, positions under a department. So who was the, the 90 day interim for, uh, provision for it? Well, it's my understanding, I don't remember the exact language, but I believe it would include the finance director and the police chief, roles like that. It's specific, again, it specifically excludes the ombudsperson role. No, I was talking about the other role, because it's like three or four different roles under there. So you're saying it excludes that whole office? That nothing? The ombudsman's office is totally excluded from that provision period. Is how I see it. Is that what you're saying? Well, it just mentions the ombudsperson. It excludes the ombudsperson. But that charter provision only talks about department heads in general. It doesn't talk about the lower level roles, if you will. So that's the gray area? Because I still... Well, uh, the child tell the board. Just speak what the board do when it comes to the ombudsperson. That's I'm, I'm not asking about the ombudsperson. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're what other positions are you speaking of? What else what does she, I would like to understand. There's an uh, investigator, a secretary, mm-hmm. 
and a couple more positions in that office that she's been filling along with our office. So she's been filling all those jobs? All of them. Mm -hmm. All of them. As an interim? Yes. Mm -hmm. And she's getting paid interim? She get paid. Our husband pays. Our husband pays. Yeah. 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 So there's no secretary, there's no, no staff. staff. Okay. She everything. So to legal, what part of that? I mean, you know, I'm trying to understand. I'm, I'm new. So with her being the interim ombudsman, the secretary, the investigator, investigator those yeah. people, are those funded positions? No. They're, really. they're funded. It's that's, in our budget. Really. It's yeah, in the really. budget. So yeah. if we're going to select an ombudsman, those positions are going to have to be yeah. filled as well. Exactly. The ombudsperson yeah. yeah. um, will fill those positions. positions. And there have been, been uh, what, analysts that have been posted out. We haven't had anybody that. Uh, and that's why I'm asking about that, the 90 that, day that, that, that came to that. that uh, and I don't, I'm not sure. But the money is there for those positions. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, well, that comes on the ombudsman. Okay. Um, both were staff to office. Okay. And that was some thing with what in earlier that they was not letting her do without the board and staff. Now, this board. Dad, this board. Um, both will come under this board. Okay. It doesn't come in anything else <coughs> in the city. Okay. We, we are the keeper of the ombudsman. Okay. And if those things haven't happened, it, uh, we haven't. So we need yeah. to get busy and fill those positions. That, 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 that's where you saw those, the, those problems. Well, the, if I may, was, if I may, the problem was is we were getting pushback from um, city administration because she held the term interim. They felt like she didn't have full power and authority as a permanent ombudsman, but through the charter and then through city ordinance, she does have the full rights and power as a, a fully appointed ombudsman. She has the responsibility of hiring. She has the responsibility of, of uh, also reporting to the HR and letting them go. She has that full right as the interim. The issue that we're bumping into is, is, and me and Mrs. Little have talked about this, is that the reason why we're not getting any bites is because the pay range we feel is too low. But this, and, 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 that's, and then that's why, and then that's why, because yeah. that's why I was telling Mrs. Little, I was telling Mrs. Little, I said, Mrs. Little, make sure when you talk with the finance team to investigate what what a current analyst makes. So the, because okay. so because it requires we, that's what we're talking about. It requires a bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to work thirty-three thousand dollars for a bachelor's degree, yeah. and yeah. so we asked them to she find out what degree. was going to be the new one. So then, when we went before finance to argue it, that can be included into the budget to That's raise the little right there because we're not getting any bites. And I'm not even okay. just and, and now you're right. not getting no bites. Right. She's sitting here wanting the job with a master's degree what? and they've been doing the job for two, three, four years what? now. Now we don't want nothing. Now keep it, put it out there. We don't know. Yeah. I'm just going to say, at this point, when we've got three interviews, I can't introduce Ms. Patrick Hodge. Mm -hmm. I really settle on a candidate or retrain her to be the ombudsperson. But the board has made one decision, so that's that. We get back on Okay, the board not trying to see if we're going to make a different decision. Yeah, we found out the job was posted since the We got some posted out there. Um, so we can take well, it down. Well, it was posted right after the job. If we fill the position, we can take it down in March. Yeah, it would be March 17th to fill the 90-day obligation that we voted on. We voted on it. It's not an obligation. We have the right to take it down. You're not even getting no bite. Oh, yeah. Well, we we didn't have it out there for two years. <laughs> we know that. I had it for two years. Yeah, no, I was here. Yeah. It's not been two years. years. It's not been two years. My mother-in-law just called it. 
So is that is that both is that EAV and ombudsman or just ombudsman? Oh, just ombudsman. Oh, I'm just ombudsman. Okay. But I think before it's all said and done, he's expecting us because Mr. King told him that we were going to add those the the board financials that you guys are working on and the ombuds person's budget. Is there two different boards working on these? Yeah, things? I just, I just found. I'm I, just making I, sure. No, 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 don't feel bad because <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Because I, I found that out. I'm like, uh, what, what, what board I'm dealing with with finance now? And then yeah, I find out it's, 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 it's <laughs> well, the board is, it's well, the board is <laughs> okay. So, so, so when the board, when the board finance mm -hmm. department gets together, you guys give your financials. Mm -hmm. Then we'll have to put those together as a collaboration for budget. And then turn it into the finance department, and then he approves it, I guess, and forwards it to the board. You got some deadlines? March, March, and we're early. He did say that we're ahead of the curve. March is the first time, because he's waiting on everybody's, excuse me, everybody's budget. So the deadline for that is March. So all financial uh, budgeting departments need to work diligently. March is your Gotta have it in the beginning of March. We're not gonna. Mm -hmm. We're gonna look at the end of March. <laughs> so he actually said March, 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 Okay. I made those numbers, he made them right away. Damn. And what uh, what he is saying and Ms. Baxter is saying is he gotta turn the budget to the council thirty uh thirty first of March. Yeah. They have so to that's that, that right is the mayor budget. This week, he gotta have right. all these numbers in well, the budget. The so we need we need to have that done. No, okay, I'm confused. Okay. You, just said, you just said the end of this week. Well, I need Make sure that we combine these two budgets. I would rather do it by the end of this week. We already did um, budget, but we got the numbers. So you want an EAB proposal by the end of this So week. he have all the numbers that he. And did. who's working on the EAB budget? Because that wasn't an ad hoc committee that I. That Jackson had sit, I heard this. I sit here came up with that at which meeting. And I asked him, and he named all the people. He named Linda Booz, you, you, you. No, that's, that's, that's I'm just telling y'all, I'm just telling y'all. When I asked him, I'm just telling you what the mission is. I think, uh, Mr. Bruce, you, you volunteered that for didn't you? I remember I volunteered for one, I don't know what it was. Yeah, but maybe. Right maybe no, I was, that's, this, this, this is what, this is I was under the impression this, that the year end, and maybe I worded it wrong, but I thought that was the, the um, EAD budget committee. Um, Ms. Boo, William, and Shaquille. Yeah, that's what I thought. 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 Yeah, that's what no, I actually do not. We had a best Let's clarify there. Right. Yeah, let's let's do what we, uh, if, if we need, if we need, we need to do that. There's not a whole lot of numbers we need. Let me say but, this. What were you going to say? I just want to say this to whoever's going to be on that committee. You need to put us a cell phone in there because if our cell phone gets subpoenaed for any reason, I'm feeling some kind of way. I'm not paying for my cell phone for city business, okay? City got too much money for me to have to pay a cell phone bill for their business, okay? They could at least provide us with some boost mobile phones, $35, $45 a month. Now, this is getting ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just saying. And text emails not. too. Yeah, because you're not subpoenaing my phone. That's why I ain't all this responding and talking to y'all. I can't do it because I can't be hung up personally. Well, the committee will work on that. What I guess Ms. Bill will give you a confidence number that we put together so you won't mm -hmm. duplicate. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have already yeah, they all our numbers gone. So you know? All right, who, let's figure out who's going to be working on this. My, my Did you guys, were you serious about wanting to prevent? Yep, yep, Chris Caleb got us a new tripod. Y'all see me turning it everywhere I can. Well, can I?
He said the job was looking at his face. Boom, look at that quick turn. Look at what now? Um, there is a space for that, like very close by. Do you want me to put you in contact with the Mr. King, you Oh, who's on the? Who's going? Who's going? Let's, let's, let's get. Let's get. Who's who's actually working? Okay. I'll I'll help. I'll help work on. I'll work on the fight on the board financially. I'm not going to chair it because I'm I'm already I'm not going to chair that one. But I will work on that board. And I wonder what, and I wonder help. You can work on them help, bro. I don't say Yeah, for the, for the board to have its own, because um, we need our own budget. Mm -hmm. Like yesterday. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so my dad, that, 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 my dad, 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 my well, well, let's go, let's go to another angle. Yeah. 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 The finance, because if the funds are going to be really tight in the general fund, mm -hmm. then maybe we should apply for some some federal funding that we're eligible to receive that can be allocated to support this committee. Just just another food for thought for funding. So that because that, that deadline is coming up. So that means we're going to add you to the committee. <laughs> I'm not chairing. Fine, I'll chair, <laughs> Michael. Unless you want to. Oh no no no. <laughs> But I'm just All right, I'll chair. I'll chair. Yeah, I'll work to do this. With you. I see. So, because you got to get the application, and, and you know, yeah. there's some specifics that have to be included in that application. That's, again, that's just an option. So, no, it, it sounds good. No, it sounds good. Yeah, because you know, if we're eligible. Right. Because you, you got to make sure we're eligible. So, okay. We'll, we'll look into it as part of our committee. Yeah, yeah but we made that. We made so, that's my good one. Yeah, that's and page. Now, for what the committee is that? The board finance committee. Oh, the board. So, so, uh, so you know what it is. See, see, Carol, see, Carol is like the trustee for the church. Uh -huh. And this fucking, this is like the pastor's age. I ain't going to be playing around with this one this year. You know, get this one. I got 15 minutes and I have to leave. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I got to buy a new one. So, Stevie, <laughs> For the camera, are you 18? Mm -hmm. For the board. For the board. It's mad as hell in here. Why y'all got the heat up so high in here? Yeah, hey, y'all not be having hot flashes? It's yeah. hot as well. Y'all ain't got no refreshments or nothing. Yeah. Yeah, y'all need to start serving dinner or something. The, the snacks or something. Oh, y'all ain't got no money? Well, y'all looking for a building. How y'all looking for a building? Y'all got some money, y'all looking for a building, y'all could get us some chips or something.
Okay, question. I'm just, I'm just I, cause I don't know. Is it also now for not 30 days yet? If somebody submitted, I'm just asking if somebody submitted for the job, but then we vote to close it, does that come back to bite us? Well, I will make sure. That, that, that's, that's, yeah. that's the only question I wanted, because I don't know. Yeah, and I don't either. And if, I, if if you we're just going to do it. We'll know that by the next meeting. You've got a right to close the job and hire more positions. No, 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 no. So, that, that's, that's right there. That's my question. Is yeah. if somebody submitted an application and we decide to close it, but there are people that are there. Yeah. Do we have we have to do we by law? If you got an application from the human resource, then you host your interviews and you govern yourself Okay, it's not the law. Yes, ma'am, and see as soon as it's over with. Well, you can eliminate. No, look at the It's the same deal as hosting the interviews. We will try to get those answers at the next meeting. We're not going to be able to make it for an hour, let's make sure we got, this is for discussion. Okay. So we got to discuss it in a way, so if there's something that we can't do, then we'll break it up. I just want to say that will probably help you in your deciding that I have elected to take some forced and begin some February the 12th to the 15th on um, maximizing your bus personal experiences for people that have been newly appointed to the bus person. I um, put it on my own financial for $2,495. It is virtual, and I will be taking that training. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She ain't got no P card. Her husband certificates and stuff that's that's that she's that, yeah. been paying she for no out of her pocket to keep us in the It's so sad. It's just so sad. But I did hear from this foster that... Um, I could mm -hmm. possibly be at some point reimbursed or because they have to come to the training. Well, that shouldn't be about the training. But yeah, yeah. Because when you when you enroll, you have to pay then. They don't wait on oh, yeah, yeah, okay. the bill. Okay. Okay. So once I get my so reimbursement, right? Okay. So that's because right. when you enroll, then so you get you have to have to get a. Give the lady a P card. Give her a P card. She can pay for. Y'all can pay for it, right? She can have P card. Huh? I know, but he can give a P card, you know. Now, let me pull up a chair to the table real quick. I got something that I want to say. You bring it here, we're going to do it. Okay. I would make sure that it's in the budget. We can, we can make we can make those, those things happen. You spend it or not, you can have no but it's been out of your don't spend nothing out of your pocket for that brother. Well, she got a P card, yeah. Don't ever do that. Well, she got to get a P card if she can't spend it. Well, we don't know about it. I don't know about it. If we don't know, we can't act on something. I would say save the receipts for tax purposes. Right. Okay. So, get this lady a P card. Uh, then I'll take it. What else do you have? I was going to say, what did you um, end up doing about the P card? What yeah, did, thank you. What's the next step? We're going to write. I'm still trying to write. I know they got to have it on there. We have to come. Paperwork has to have a line of paper with it on board. That we, uh, I have to have been chair. That it's got to be applied and that paperwork. Board had to have a record of paperwork and keep it filed. Uh, and if you, I thought I gave everybody a copy of it and explained that. I guess no one looked at look at what that process process is. And as I said at that time, you want to change the process? Board, no, no. I will give you another copy. I'm not going to take on all responsibility without the board. I got it. I so that's that, that's what the problem is, and we have to we have to. I will make sure everybody has got another copy so you understand what that is. So so basically, we got to create a subcommittee to basically make sure that all of her that dollars meet dollars and receipts meet receipts and everything is balanced. Right. So yeah. when, you, when you do the, you do a monthly P card report that can also be shared with the board before it's even approved by Congress. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because he don't want her to have it. That's why. She ain't the one that they want. When they did it in public, what well, they did it in public, Everybody I don't know. Uh, By Doug. Oh. Oppose. I mean, they, they accused her in public. Why we can't. Oh, I got to leave. But they accused her in public. We can't hear a public response. So she can give her response in, in private while she was in, accused at home. Yeah. I didn't see closed session on here. I'm sorry. I didn't know I would have had my stuff together. I'm sorry. I would have left. But I didn't see closed session on here. You know. What, but uh, excuse me, I have a question before I leave. So we don't. So she, she only get to respond in private, but accused in public. That's how that go. Well, you know, it's just a discussion. You know, we have to, as ethic and accountability board members, we gotta, you know, do some discussion. Okay, because I didn't, I didn't see it on the agenda because I would have had my stuff ready to go if I seen closed session on there. Oh, okay, I, okay, I, I didn't know it was on there. Okay, okay, I didn't know. I'll get my stuff and I'm gonna go, you know, and just report on. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and go. While I'm gathering my stuff and you know, see y'all later, you know, and and I hope you know you respond in private, you know. She was accused in public, but, but I'm going. Also make a public statement. I, I'm about to. Her, if she want her situation discussed publicly, right. right. she can do it. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, well, yeah. I'm just gonna wait outside the door until you know y'all get this together. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a couple of questions about the peacock and stuff. You know, I'm just gonna go because Mickey probably ain't gonna let me come back no more. So I'm just gonna go on and stand out here real quick. Just gonna stand outside the door here real quick. But I can stay here until he get back, though, right? Okay, I'm gonna I'm I'm crack the door for y'all because it's a little hot in here. I'm just giving y'all a little air, just a little air until you come. Here come Mr. King. Mr. King coming back now, cause you know I'm just I didn't see Mr. King. You got you got to put it on the on the agenda closed session next time, cause I didn't see that in there. You know. I will. I just stand outside the door and wait, you know. I just wait for a minute. Oh, you know, I'm just going to wait here for a minute. 
Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to get some. Hold on, hold on. Me and the painter are going to go live here. I, I'm just trying to get some answers because, you know, none of this made sense to me down here tonight. Um, he, the lady was, you know, Liddell came in at the beginning of the meeting and she said that they was cleaning the house. I was appalled by that. What does she mean by cleaning the house? It's been a change in the garage. And, and then they, 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 they accused this lady, Miss Billy Danstler, they accused her in public. But she got to respond in private. I ain't never heard of her. And then y'all seen the agenda, and they say nothing on there about closed session. So you know what I think? They make up rules like the council do. That's all I'm going to say. But I'm going to get my stuff, and I'm going to go. Because, you know, I'm down here in City Hall. Mickey ain't here. Ain't nobody get me out of jail because... I'm too damn pretty to go across the street to the county jail. So I'm going to get my stuff. I'm going to go. Because I don't know how long they're going to be in there talking. And it's hot as hell in there. It's hot in there. So I'm going to go bunk with us tomorrow at 9 a.m. And for those of y'all that's just tuning in, go back to the beginning of this meeting. Because you got to see what Liddell said. She came down here and caused hell. Caused hell. Caused pure hell. Thank you, Mickey, for letting me come down here, baby. I know you ain't going to let me come no more, but I appreciate you. Tomorrow we'll be over at the Board of Education. But tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., bump with me. I I'm about to go. I, I can't stand Y'all see ain't shit getting done. They still writing letters and shit in here. You know what I'm saying? See y'all in the morning.